All right, so as discussed earlier, there's no length guide on this. So I wanna find 16 inches. So we'll go right to the saw bar itself and come out. So the, the visual marker I want for that last log on the table is going to be looking straight down this part of the guard from here to this side of the saw bar is 16 inches. So that should give me that big enough last piece that'll go in, drop, and then we can split through on the other side. Visually, I'll go from the saw bar to right about the center of that circle is the other piece that I want to catch. So again, saw bar to center circle is 16 inches. So I'll be able to see like the face of the table come back. I'll stop it about here, clamp the wood, retract it back. That should leave me a nice 16 inch piece exposed just for, that's what I'm doing from inside the cab, so. Let me show you what we did. So we manipulated everything up and over on the table. That was the first thing that we did. Then you saw me set this thing on the ground. So without having the pin in there allows the six-way wedge on either the 120, which is this one, or the 140 to float inside the I-beam. Now, I, I wasn't sure how much room I had on the bottom, but I'm still gonna get two nice pieces, or four nice pieces really, out of this one and some kindling off the bottom. Maybe the next piece I'll drop it just a little bit to pick it up, but you know, six ways out of what, an eight inch piece here? Yeah, roughly about nine inches, give or take. But um, that's the trick to these. You can either float it or because of this double angle, you can create some back pressure between that bottom ear and the I-beam. So I'll put like a 5 8 hitch pin in there. And then if anything over pressurizes, you can always um, just replace that pin versus bending an ear or creating, you know, a pinch point with shoving wood through it. So that's typically how we set up the six way on these units. Now let's get the rest of this process through.
All right, well, I love it when a plan comes together. That last piece came in beautiful. Um, and again, we were just trying to size that up right about here was 16 inches. So pretty happy with that. And being able to float, you know, the six way inside the beam like that is always pretty handy. So, uh, but this is the Halverson HWP 120.